In this exercise, you'll create a set of sample lines along the alignment. The sample lines define the stations at which the cross sections are cut, also the width of the sections to the left and right of the alignment. A set of sample lines is stored in a sample line group for the alignment. Each sample line group has a unique name, and each line within the group also has a unique name. So let's start creating sample lines. Go ahead and open up your sections-sample-lines-create drawing in your tutorials folder. Then go ahead and go into your home tab and then into profile and section views. Next go ahead and select sample lines. Now our command line is asking us to select an alignment. Let's go ahead and press enter to select from a list and we're going to select our center line. Go ahead and click OK. Now you see that the Create Sample Line Group dialog box is displayed. Now this dialog box defines the characteristics of the sample line group. The templates shipped with Autodesk Civil 3D contained predefined line styles and line label styles for the sample lines. Now in the top portion of the Create Sample Line Group dialog box, specify the following parameters. In the sample line style, we're going to go ahead and leave it on Road Sample Lines. And in the sample line label style, we're going to leave it at the default of name and section marks. Now under the Select Data Sources to Sample, verify the sample checkboxes are selected for all the entries in the table. Data sources may include surfaces, corridor models, and corridor surfaces. Each surface and corridor surface results in a single cross-sectional string. Using the corridor model as a source includes all of the points, links, and shapes in the model. Now we're going to set the section styles to the following, but note you can double click within the Styles cell in the table to select the section style. Let's start with the existing grade. We're going to select the style here, click the drop down, and click Existing Ground. Press OK, and then in Corridor 1, we're going to select All Codes, and click OK. Now for the top, we're going to select Finish Grade. Click OK. And then for Datum, we're going to select Finish Grade. Click OK. And then click OK. Now you'll see that the Sample Line Tools toolbar is displayed. And a Specify Station Along Baseline prompt is shown within our command line. On the toolbar, go ahead and select this drop-down. This is the Sample Line Creation Methods button. Select the option from Corridor Stations. This option creates a sample line at each station found in the corridor model. Now in the Create Sample Lines from Corridor Stations dialog box, specify the following parameters. For the left swath width, we're going to specify 150. And then for the right, we're going to specify the same. Now click OK. Now you'll see that the sample lines are now created. And the toolbar is still available for defining additional lines if desired. Let's go ahead and close this toolbar. So that's how you go about creating sample lines in Civil 3D. In this exercise, you'll create a section view for a range of sample lines. First, you'll modify some of the settings that apply to section views. This exercise continues from creating sample lines. Let's start by modifying the group plot style. Go ahead and open up your section-views-create drawing in your tutorials folder. In your tool space, click on your Settings tab. 
Then expand the section view and expand the group plot styles collection. Select your basic style, right click and select edit. In the group plot style dialog box, click the display tab. Under the component display, within the print area row, change the color to red. Click OK. These colors make it easy to identify the extents of the sheet, as well as the portion of the sheet that contains the section views. You'll observe these components when you create the section views later in this exercise. Go ahead and click OK. Now we'll specify basic section view parameters. Go ahead into your Home tab. Then look into your Profile and Section Views panel. Click the Section Views drop-down and then select Create Multiple Views. Now we're in the Create Multiple Section Views wizard. On the General page, specify the following parameters. For the alignment, we're going to keep it on centerline. For the sample line group name, we're going to leave it at SLG-1. The station range will be user specified. We're going to leave the start default, but we're going to change the end to this. Lastly, we're going to leave the section view style at its default of road section. Go ahead and click Next. Now we're going to specify a plot style and a layout template. On the section placement page, you specify how the section views are displayed and arranged in the sheets. Select a template, viewport scale, and group plot style. Under the placement options, we're going to leave it on production. Now note that the draft option, right here, creates section views in the current drawing only. You cannot generate sheets from draft section views. Under the template for cross-section sheet, go ahead and press this button. Then, within this dialog box, go ahead and select this. And then within your local template folder, double-click on Plan Production. Then select Civil 3D Imperial Section. Then click Open. Go ahead and select the 40 scale sheet. Click OK. Lastly, we're going to go ahead and leave our group plot style on basic. Go ahead and click Next. Now we're going to go ahead and specify the section view offsets. On the offset range page, under offset range, we're going to leave it on automatic. Notice that the left and right values are set to 150. This is the sample line swath width value that you specified in creating sample lines. Go ahead and click Next. Now that we're on the elevation range page, specify the following parameters. The elevation range is going to be user specified, and we're going to change the height to 100. For section view height, we're going to follow a section. And that section is going to be EG. These settings specify that all section views will be 100 feet tall and the elevation will follow the existing grade elevation. Go ahead and click Next. Let's specify the sampled sections and labels. The Section Display Options page specifies the object and label styles for the sampled objects. However, in this exercise, you will suppress the labels. Now under the EG row, click within the label set. And then select No Labels. Click OK. We're going to do the same for the top and for the datum. Now, let's click Next. Now we're going to specify some data band settings. Under the data band set, 
we're going to select major station for surface one we're going to choose corridor top and for surface two we're going to leave it on datum lastly let's create and examine the section views go ahead and select create section views our command line is asking us to identify the section view origin we're going to select a point within this top viewport you'll see the groups of section views are arranged into two rectangles you specified the color of these rectangles at the beginning of this exercise when you create section sheets the area between the red and blue rectangles contains the title block border and other information that's contained in the plan production template you selected you'll create section sheets in the creating section sheets exercise so that's how you go about creating section views in Civil 3D.